Hi, my name is Mustafa, and today I'll show you the path that my students usually take when starting ukulele and guitar lessons. Think of it as the roadmap of your musical journey of your first year or two years of lessons. The first thing you need to learn is few essential things before you play your first note. These things include how to sit, your right hand and left hand posture, parts of your ukulele, how to tune, how to change strings, how to read tabs, how to practice effectively, string names, and finger naming conventions. It also wouldn't hurt to know a few musical concepts such as what SATB is, or words like legato, arpeggio, crescendo, tempo, and so on. This should take you less than a week to learn, in some cases just one hour. You only need to learn the information and there isn't much practicing to be done. Once you've got few essentials down, you need to learn how to play a note using your right hand and left hand. Playing a note allows you to start playing melodies. Try to play melodies as soon as possible. They're fun, provide musical results, allows you to share performances with others, as well as practice few techniques and musical concepts. I always encourage my students to learn melodies in a set of chords first because they are a single line of music that changes quickly. This is both simpler and more beneficial to your learning than chords, which are really just a combination of difficult finger movements that you might not know yet that remain static until you change the next chord. Based on which melodies you pick, you're looking at anywhere between a week to four weeks to get truly comfortable with your basic left hand and right hand techniques, as well as reading tabs. As a teacher, I'm expecting you to be able to play three melodies by now and how to tune in under three minutes. Once you finish learning melodies, it is time to learn how to strum a few chords and practice strumming patterns and chord progressions. I would personally skip this step and move on to the fourth, but I added it here because strumming is such a significant portion of both ukulele and guitar culture. So if playing many songs while singing is your thing, then absolutely learn your basic chords, a few strumming patterns, and a few chord progressions. I want to say that this step can take a lifetime to master, but if you pick four songs as your target, you're realistically looking at two to three weeks to learn basic chords, as well as one additional week to master changing between them. Overall, you're looking at additional four weeks to play four songs of strumming, assuming they're not just repeating the chords or the same patterns. Which brings our tally by now to eight weeks or five to six weeks if you work on melodies and strumming simultaneously. Once you've got that out of the way, it is time you learn some finger picking. Finger picking is a lot of fun. It is what I specialize in and encourage everyone to try. The main thing here is that it allows you to play complete arrangements without needing a singer. For most adult students, this leaves them with a more sense of achievement, more fun, and more satisfying musical experience as the music is sophisticated. But with proper learning tools, such as my ukulele living style basic scores, it becomes more manageable. I recommend you learn playing two strings at the same time, then add the third string. Then learn block chords and some finger picking patterns. I then recommend you learn few arrangements where the melody, bass, and accompaniment are separate from each other. This is difficult and will take a lifetime to master, but it should take you two to four weeks to master a beginner finger style arrangement and four to eight weeks to practice harder pieces. It is entirely normal to spend two to four months learning one piece of music when it is difficult, so don't get discouraged. Last step is to take all the steps you've just learned and improve on them, either via increased speeds, adding special techniques such as vibrato or harmonics, or by playing more sophisticated music. Hopefully, this helps you set the roadmap for your learning journey. If you have any questions, please let me know. Until then, I'll see you next time.